welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland. It's Fiona here and this is going to be a little Asda haul. I've just had my shopping delivered and it's my first haul for doing calorie counting. So this is for calorie counting and family. Okay, let's start with the householdy stuff. So I got the Flash Extra Large Wipes. I usually get the Asda wipes but they didn't have any in stock so I got the Flash ones instead. I got the Lenore Unstoppables um, Inwash Scent Booster, that's the active scent. I really like these. These were on my recent favourites video. I really think they make the clothes smell lovely. And I got some Comfort Creations, the Strawberry and Lily scent, which I love. That was all the householdy bits that I needed. I got three bottles of my beloved Pepsi Max in the raspberry flavour, which I love. And I got, and instead of getting Pepsi Max cans, I got some Sprite Zero for a wee change because I stayed away from things like that on keto in case there was a lot of fruit juice added to it. Um, so yeah, I thought I would get some Sprite for a little change. These are for the girls for school. Brooke likes the apple and elderflower and Abby likes the strawberry. Now they're all sugar-free, Volvic touch of fruit water. So... Per serving, there's only two calories in it and there's zero carbs and everything. Now, I'm sure I saw somewhere. Where's the ingredients? There we go. The sweetener is SK and sucralose. So it is keto friendly for anyone on the keto diet, but it's not fasting friendly. So you can't have that when you're fasting. It will break your fast because of the SK. Now on to the chilled stuff. We've got the family stuff first. Abby's um, cheeseburger. She loves this on the nights that she's going out to the youth cafe. Just a quick dinner for her. These are for the dogs. I can't say the word out loud or they'll come running to me thinking they're getting one. These get frozen as a treat for them. You'll have seen them in all of my hauls. These are also dog treats. Um, yes, our doggies are spoiled. Yes, Rana, you know that's for you, don't you? Do you know that's for you, big boy? Yes. Um, so these are for the dogs as well. However, they're actually not too bad calorie-wise. A quarter of a pack is 138 calories, and that is a big pack, so that's not too bad. Um, I'm not that keen on them, though, to be honest. I'm not likely to eat them. Right, now on to the chilled main meals. This is my first... Um, grocery shop for calorie counting and because this is my first week doing it I thought rather than making loads of things from scratch I would buy things in that have got the calories on it that is easy for me to know how much I'm eating if you know what I mean. So each of these things are for me and Jack as our sort of main part of our dish and then I'll show you the sides that I've got later on. So Two ham hocks in an apple glaze, cooks in 50 minutes, looks so easy, just shove it in the oven and for half of a pack it's 280 calories. So I'll have half of that and I'll know that it's 280 calories and I'll show you what it looks like. That's what it looks like in the pack. So that looks quite nice. So that's for one night. Now these ones I'm showing you just now were two for seven pound. So that's two for seven pound and this was also two. So these two together were seven pound. This is the nacho and chili cheese crumb chicken breast fillets, which I thought looked quite nice. And it's all things that I couldn't have on keto, like the, the ham hocks, I couldn't have an apple glaze. So I'm looking forward to being able to get things like this again and the cheese, the natural crumb I couldn't have on keto so hopefully these will be nice now this for half the pack is 292 calories so again there's two in there so I'll have one Jack will have one and I'll be taking the, the wee jalapenos off because I don't do too spicy so that'll be for another night so two for seven pounds and the other two things that I got that were two for seven pound were uh, cheese and ham crumbs so similar to the the chili one just a little bit milder um, so again, there's two chicken breasts in there, cooks in 30 minutes, and for half of it, it's 267 calories. So that with a nice side bit, uh, dish will be lovely. And the other one that was in the two for seven pound was this. Simple to cook beef joint with onion gravy. And that serves two as well. And for half a pack, it is 318 calories. So a little bit higher, but I still think it's going to be very tasty and well worth it. The other two mains I got weren't in the two for seven pounds, but they were. 
the two salmon fillets with a sweet chilli sauce. Now, I had been eating my salmon on keto, but I was getting the plain salmon fillets and um, adding my own sort of dressing to it, if you like. But this time I thought I could get the sweet chilli sauce, which will be lovely. Shove it in the microwave. It's always good for a Monday because we're in a hurry. And half of the packet is 288 calories. And I bought a Chinese pork stir fry kit, which looks lovely as well. All the veg, all the pork and a nice sauce to go with it. And for half of the pack, it's 249 calories. So they're all sort of between 250, 300 calories, all the main courses that I'm going to have. And then I'll show you the sides that I've got to go with them. Again, I wanted something that I could easily tell what the, the calories were. So I got a sweet potato mash and this serves too, it goes in the microwave. I'll probably have that with the salmon, both go in the microwave, dead easy. And I might make some mushrooms or something to go with it as well. So for half of the pack, it's 92 calories. So the salmon, 288 and 92, 290, 380 calories that would be for the dinner, plus whatever for the mushroom. So 400 calories for a main meal will be just dandy. Another side that I got is the chorizo and spinach stuffed mushrooms. Now these might be quite nice with the plain cheese and chicken... No, what was it? What was it? What was it? With the plain cheese and ham crumb, um, the cheese chorizo and spinach stuffed mushrooms. And again, it cooks in 20 minutes and for half of the pack, it's only 90 calories. And that just looks so good. Really, really nice. And a similar sort of thing, but it's cheddar and bacon stuffed mushrooms for one of the other meals. And that is 105 calories. So a little bit higher in the calories because it's a bit fattier with having the bacon in there. Um, but again, it still looks lovely. I got some mushrooms. I always get mushrooms because I love them and they bulk out any meal. They're very low calorie. I'm not sure exactly how much without looking, but they're a great way of bulking out any meal. Another side that I got, I thought I could add this to the pork stir fry to bulk it out a bit, is the spring greens. I love these. And these are, for half the pack, 20 calories. Now you can't go wrong with that, can you? 20 calories for half the pack and that will get added to the pork stir fry along with some mushrooms and that will be a nice big dinner. And the last, last side dish that I got is the tray of Mediterranean vegetables. And for half the pack, it's 105 calories. Now, things like this and the sweet potato mash, I probably won't have the full half pack. Um, Jack usually eats more than me, but I'll probably still count the calories for the half pack anyway, just to make it easier. So that's the side dishes that I've got and the main dishes. Looking forward to those. Okay, now on to the dairy and fruit. And I'm really annoyed because I ordered quark and I've just realised I've not brought any. I don't know, I'll need to check the email to see if it was out of stock or if I just forgot it. Right, so I got some Anchor Light Squishy Cream because I love this. Jack likes it on his coffee, the girls like it on fruit and I quite like it on fruit as well. And we can weigh it out. And I know it's less fat but it's also less sugar which is why I got this kind. I don't tend to go for low fat. But for 12.5 grams serving it's only 24 calories so... That perfect as a wee accompaniment to my fruit. I was wanting the cork for that, but hey ho. I got three of these semi skim milks. They're mainly for Jack and Brooke cereal. I might try some in my cereal, but it's a long time since I've had semi skim milk. So if I don't like it, I got my cocoa dairy free, which I love. And the cocoa dairy free milk is only 28 calories per 100 mils. So that's dead handy to have. And if I do fancy a wee hot chocolate or a coffee or something, I'll probably use that. I got the Wildlife Tubes variety packs. These are for Brooke for her packed lunches. And just out of curiosity, what are the calories? Well, it's per 100 grams. Why do they give you it per 100 grams instead of the tube? A tube's 37 grams, so say about a third of it. About 30 calories probably for a tube. But I wouldn't eat them anyway. Um, I, tend, I went. I, I was going to get yogurt, but a lot of the flavoured yogurts are full of sugar, and I don't want sugar as much as possible. 
and I'm not keen on natural yogurt. I would be adding a whole load of sweetener to it anyway. So that's why I went for the quark because I know that I like that. Hey ho. Right, so that's two packs of these for Brooke. And the reason I got two packs were I'm sure they were a pound each or two for £1.50. So I thought it would make more sense. And hopefully they've got a decent date on them. Yep, the 9th of September. So they'll do this week and next week. Right, on to the fruit. I'm trying not to eat too much fruit because I am aware of the amount of sugar in it. However, I'm worried that going from keto, which is high fat, to calorie counting, which has got lots of carbs in, I'm worried I'm going to be hungry. So I have got fruit in so that if I do need to snack, I can. And the grapes are not for me. These are for Brooke. These are for her packed lunch. She takes a pack of these every day. Now, it's three for a pound, so I did actually get six of those, but I put three in the fridge already. So I think that's quite a good deal. Um, and it means that they're nice and fresh for her rather than opening up on it at the start of the week. And I'm going a bit kind of dried up by the time she gets around to eating them on a Friday. And the 24th of August is a good date, so they'll last her all week. I got for me, I got some blueberries and strawberries because they are quite low carb compared to um, most fruits. So I've got some blueberries, some strawberries and also melon medley because they are quite low carb as well right let's have a wee look at this per 100 grams now there's almost 400 grams in there so for a quarter of the pack there's 32 calories so that's pretty good don't know if it says on the it doesn't say on the blueberries or strawberries i'll need to check them out the sweet cleanse they are for jack he likes to take one of them to his work. And the bananas, I do love a banana and I have missed bananas. But I won't have one every day because they are quite high in carbs. Jack takes a few of these to work in a day, so that's why I got a 10 pack. Um, but yes, I will have the odd banana. They're just so handy for grabbing and going if I'm nipping out somewhere. So that's the dairy and the fruit. Right, and lastly we have the food cupboard items. Now, I've been really craving Weetabix since I've been on the keto diet, which is bizarre, I know. And that's exactly how I want to have them, with some strawberries and blueberries on them. Um, so, two, it's the Asda version of Weetabix, obviously, because they were half the price, and slightly less calories as well. So, two Weetabix is 134 calories. So, that with some cocoa milk and a small amount of fruit is going to be, what, 200, 250 calories, maybe? for a breakfast, which isn't bad, considering I had my breakfast at lunchtime because I do intermittent fasting. But I also love these as well, so I thought for a wee change, when I'm fed up with the Weetabix, um, I could have a bowl of them. Raspberry Wheaties, now for a 45 gram serving, it's only 150 calories, which isn't bad because they are so sweet and fruity and yummy. I really like them. So, yep, yeah, that's my brunches for the next week. Now, these are Jack's lunches, but looking at the calories, they're not too bad, actually, for a lunch. Um, so it's the John West Lunch and Go. This is the French-style tuna salad. Now, that's less than 250 calories, as is the Italian-style tuna salad, and also the Mediterranean-style tuna salad. They're all less than 250 calories, and he also got the Moroccan style salmon salad and that's less than 325 calories. Now he really enjoys taking them to work. They're dead simple and they keep them really quite full because they've got quite a bit of protein in them. Um, so yeah, another good lunch idea. Not my sort of thing, but if you are calorie counting, they're dead handy to take out with you. Jack's not calorie counting, by the way, just so that you know. Now, I was worried again I might need a sweet treat because I'm eating carbs. I've not been missing anything sweet when I've been on keto, but when I start eating carbs, I want all the sugar. So, I've got myself some Turkish Delights just in case. Now, they're 185 calories per bar, and it was that Helen and Jared from the Living Stones that put me in the mood for these. Um, Helen was having one the other day and I was like, oh, I want a Turkish Delight. So that's a pack of three for a pound, which isn't too bad if I need a little bit of chocolate. But I also got good old fibre ones. I love these on Slim and World and I still love them. So the carrot cake bars, these are fantastic. They're only 90 calories for a bar and a nice wee sweet treat. I got the milk chocolate popcorn bars, which are 90, no, they're not, they're 84 calories, even better, um, for a bar. 
And I also got the peanut butter popcorn bars, which are 90 calories for the bar. So again, if I'm just needing something sweet, not overly hungry, because let's face it, they're not the most filling things in the world, but just really needing something to nibble on, they will be perfect. Now onto the naughtier things for the, the girls. Abby got some flakes, a pack of four flakes for a pound, and these are... No way, these are only 134 calories a bar. Wow, they're less than the Turkish Delight. I might be reading Abby's drawer. <laughs> Rick got a pack of Freddos. They like a wee bit of chocolate when they come in from school at night. And they're only 95 calories. I might be reading Brooke's bar, uh, drawer as well. Hope she's not listening. No, she's not or she would have shouted. So, yep, 95 calories for a Freddo. These will be a bit higher. <laughs> Brooke likes to take these to school for her play piece now and again. And it's the double cream Oreo biscuits. And these are the two biscuits in a pack. 141 calories. That's not actually too bad. No way. Two biscuits, 141 calories. That's actually quite good because they're the double cream ones. And Abby likes to pu -pu -pu pick up a penguin. That's a mint flavour and they are 130 calories each. I have to say, I wouldn't use 130 calories on one mint penguin. And the sort of healthier-ish biscuits for Jack and Brooke. Brooke likes these, but so does Jack, especially when they're going for a run. It's the Nature Valley Nut Butter Cocoa Hazelnut Biscuits. They are 191 calories for a biscuit. And... Jack likes the Nature Valley Crunchy Variety Pack. So there's two Canadian maple syrup, one oats and dark chocolate and two oats and honey. And these are 196 calories for one bar. I got some bread for the girls. I'm not really into bread. Every now and again I might fancy a bit, a bit of toast or something. But that's 94 calories a slice if I did want to. I think I would rather make myself a chaffle and the video for that should be going up soon. And lastly, I got some crisps because I have missed crisps on keto. And I got Watsits, which are 90 calories a packet. Perfect. Monster Munch, which is 108 calories a packet. And Quavers, which are 86 calories a packet. So they're for the whole family, not just for me. But it means if I do fancy the odd wee crisp, they're not too bad. So that is what I got from Asda and all in all, including delivery, it came to £101 something. But I will need to make sure that the cork is taken off since they didn't have any in the order. And also there was two substitutions. One was toothpaste that I'd got for Brooke and I sent that back because she doesn't like the one that they sent. And I had got the girls um, mozzarella sticks but they sent cheese straws instead and they don't like those. So they got sent back as well. So they'll come off the order. So it'll be less than £100. Still quite pricey for what we got but then I did spend money getting the ready-made meals that just go in the oven. Once I'm more confident with the calorie counting I'll start making my own instead but I thought it was just easier this week. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!